right, so we have the FX Dreamlight here. I took off the stock to make it easier to shoot the gun. Um, it's got a carbon fiber bottle on it to make it easier for the tuning. Um, but in any case, we're going to take a couple shots here with the gun nice and tuned up uh, just to show what the gun can do without the power plume. And then we're going to show what the gun can do with the power plume. All right, so it's a 25 caliber. I've gone back and forth between 22 and 25 caliber, but this one's going to be a 25 caliber. Got the magazine fully loaded with 25 grain keys. Uh, that's JSB 25 grain keen. All right, take first shot. 964, 968, 973, 966, 969, and 970. How about that for a good note? All right, so this gun pretty much maxes out about 970 with 25 grains. Uh, without the power plume, you can easily uh, get the gun to shoot uh, the Kings at 910, 920 feet per second. Uh, in fact, I'll detune it real fast just to show what regulator pressure you need in order to achieve that. All right, so we got our tools here: the 1.5 millimeter Allen for your hammer spring, and the 2.5 millimeter for the bottle uh, bottle adapter regulator adjustment screw. So this is the same regulator that's actually in the impact. So I'm going to turn it counterclockwise, which is actually tightening it up. Drop it down 966. Another quarter turn. Duplicate. At 950, 9 I'm at about 140 bar right now, 140, 145. There we go, there's 918, we're at about 130. I bet you if I turn the wheel, yeah, that, that's really maxed out. I'm gonna back off of that a little bit. See, so neat little trick here is we've got the Allen key wrapped in rubber right here. So whenever you're going into the notch, it's not metal on metal contact, you're not gonna scratch up your gun. Just in that a couple turns. Yeah, that's down to 891. So in all honesty, you could get the 910, 920 range around 8. I mean around uh, around 120, 130 on the regulator. We're gonna take that back up to about 125, 130. Yeah, there's 910, or 901, 94, about 140, 906 is maxing out. Alright, so we see we want the hammer adjusted pretty heavily, and we want the regulator pushing about 120, 130 for your 9... Uh, 910, 920 feet per second range for those 25 grains. And I did count it right, how about that? Um, in any case, we're going to put the power plenum on now and see what type of numbers we can get. Alright, so now we have our dream bottle back and it's got the power plenum on it this time. So, we're going to go back to testing. Uh, we left it at the same settings that we finished off with. 
So the hammer spring is a little loose. Still on 25.30 and we're about 1.25 on the regulator. All right, let's go ahead and load the magazine in. Again, these are 25 grain uh, J-Speed Kings. All right, take the gun off safety. Line her up. 940. So we are barely getting 910 maybe. Uh, it, it was somewhere between uh, the, the high 890s to 910 is what we were getting before the power plume. Now, just by adding the power plume, we immediately gained almost 40 feet per second. Okay, back down. Nine twenty nine, nine thirty three, duplicate. Okay, so had a little bit of a high shot, the first shot. I mean, not really. I mean, it's still within ten feet per second. Uh, so it was shooting between the nine thirty, between nine thirty and nine forty. So it was between thirty to forty feet per second gain. All right, so let's see what we can do now. Uh, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Crank up this hammer spring adjuster again. I'm not going to completely max it out. I am going to do a lot of turns though. Alright, so I can still turn my wheel. Velocity stayed just about the same, just a little bit more inconsistent. Now I gotta find the regulator hole, the, the screw, there we go. Let's go ahead and turn up the 150. Nine seventy-five. Alright, let's see if we can go any higher. Let's see if we need more hammer spring tension. Okay, that's absolutely maxed out right there. Nope, that didn't do anything. That actually went down. So let's see if we need it more regulator. And as you can see, I'm hooked up to a tank here, which had constant pressure just right at 240. So I'm not worried about the tank. Um, let's see, we are at 160. Wow, that did the trick. A thousand eight feet per second with a 25 grain, 25 caliber out of a Dreamline, 600 millimeter barrel. 1,005, oh, and I'm out of pellets. I'll be right back after I reload. Okay, so we're back and reloaded here. Let's keep taking some shots. 1004. Duplicate. Alright, so this is just right at somewhere between 155 and 160 on the regulator. We'll take it up a little bit higher to see if we can squeeze some more out. All right, that's about 170. Nah, no, nothing else came out. Actually, I duplicated the 1004 uh, for a third time. And for a fourth time. 1003. 2012, 2006, 2001. So it looks like we're at our max here. We can't really get anything else. Uh, you could do some aftermarket stuff like uh, uh, port out the transfer port. Um, that's really about it. Maybe if you could find a heavier hammer weight or something like that for the Dreamline. Uh, but really, the Dreamline, it's, it's not the impact, it's not some super high power gun, uh, but with the plenum, 
it helps it get to a higher standard. Um, it's shooting a 25 grain, 25 caliber out of a 600 millimeter barrel at a thousand feet per second. That's that's even difficult for the crown to do. And the crown has a larger valve system. Um, so this plenum is awesome, and it'll really help you out. Now again, this is a uh, this is a Gen 2 Dreamline, and I say that as it has a longer valve pin system in it. Um, I will be doing a video later on, probably not anytime soon, but later on I will be doing a video of a Gen 1, uh, which had the shorter valve pin, not the longer one. And that'll show you, uh, I'll be doing some testing to see if it has the same effects or if, if it doesn't work out. Uh, I believe it would have the same effects. I don't think the length of the valve pin is going to have anything to do with it because this is the extra plenum right here. You don't need the valve pin to give you any extra plenum. Um, the hammer system is all the same, the regulator is the same in the Gen 1's. Uh, the only th difference was a different valve pin, so shouldn't make that much of a difference. You might get a little bit more feet per second uh, overall with this gun, uh, but that's really about it. Uh, in any case, here you go. You've got 25 caliber shooting over 1,000 feet per second, and these are the 25 grains. 1,001 again. 1,010. 1,011. 1,007, 1,005, 1,004, 1,003, and 1,001. That was it. But I got a little special treat. I'm going to try some GTOs. So, we've got lead-free 16.54 grain 25 caliber GTO. That one's not open. Here we go. Here's one that's open. Let's try it out. Whoa! Did you hear that? It just broke the sound barrier. 1145 feet per second. Let's do that again. Thousand forty-eight. Thousand forty nine, thousand forty eight, thousand forty nine, thousand forty eight, thousand forty two. Are we falling off? No, we're we're still we still have plenty of shots. We're the tank's still holding. Thousand forty-eight. Thousand forty-nine. Thousand forty-eight. Thousand forty-nine. Thousand forty-eight. Thousand forty-nine. Thousand forty-eight. Thousand forty-nine. 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 Thousand but hey, it's cool. You're making a Dreamline shoot uh, supersonic. Uh, so there you go. There's the Dreamline plenum. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please uh, shoot me a comment, shoot me an email, uh, drop some sort of line, I don't know. Just get in contact with me if you have questions. I'm more than happy to help out. I want to help y'all out. I want to make videos for y'all. Uh, so just let me know what you want, and I'll make a video of it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe and have happy shooting.